hello and a big warm welcome to everybody who is joining me on this course i'm super excited to begin our understanding and upskilling of our javascript by grasping another really important concept when it comes to javascript the asynchronous javascript now my name is aksham rivari and i'm going to be your learning partner for this course this course is brought to you by idionics learning solutions so let's get started before we get our hands deep and geeky with code i would like to just discuss the course structure with you i think that would be a good idea to give you an idea about how we're going to tackle each topic so i divided this course into four major parts so the course structure is going to be the first part is going to be focused on the broad concept of what is asynchronous programming how we're going to think about it and what is asynchronous javascript this is going to be a foundation topic and this is where we're going to start building upon more advanced topics from the next one is going to be understanding callbacks so this is going to be the first asynchronous pattern that you're going to see how to what are callbacks and how to use callbacks so that will be the second what we uh, encounter the third one is going to be understanding promises so this is going to be an advanced topic then callbacks and this is how the whole structure goes it keeps building upon the foundations of every new topic and asynchronous when it comes to asynchronous the topics that we are going to learn each topic is dependent on the previous one it is really important to know where the technology was and where it is now it adds a value and appreciation to you for the current level of technology and also gives you a more in depth understanding of what you're trying to do over here and the last one is going to be understanding async await all right so this is the major core structure now when we talk about the topic flow i've tried to follow a consistent topic flow throughout the course i begin with the concept we'll see what that concept means and we'll understand that concept theoretically and using uh, analogies and examples then we'll code an example because unless we get our hands down and deep and geeky we won't really have a practical understanding of it so the next step is to always code the concept the third is going to be an exercise that i'm going to assign to you if there's any uh, required for that topic and uh, we'll also see the solution for the exercise Uh, along with the problem and all the exercise material can be downloaded i'm going to uh, indicate i'm going to tell you in that uh, exercise itself that you should download this and then execute this and the last one is quiz each section at the end of each section there's a quiz that you need to attempt try to get all of the questions uh, correct in the first try listen intently and you'll be able to do it if not no worries you can try again i'm sure that you'll get the right one so this is um all that i think we needed to discuss before we dive deep into the topic the next thing uh, to brush over is the prerequisites for this course so for this course you're going to need to know the basic understanding of javascript a little bit of html and css but mainly uh understanding of how to use variables and functions and logic in javascript that should serve as a good foundation for you to be able to understand this which is a little bit of a advanced version of a topic so let's get started i'm super excited to see you in the next video